New government numbers show complaints about long security lines at airports have increased more than tenfold over the last year. Security delays, delays this week at Chicago's airport, O'Hare's airport, caused hundreds to miss their flights. The TSA blames those delays on an increase in travelers and a shortage of screeners. Chris Van Cleve is at Los Angeles International Airport with the outrage over the problem. Chris, good morning. Good morning. This airport is telling flyers to be in these lines two and three hours early as the number of passengers. They're going to go up as the summer travel season gets going. Already one airline tells CBS this morning LAX makes its top five for missed flights because of TSA lines. And now flyers from coast to coast are striking back on social media. Security lines that seem to never end are becoming the new normal in Chicago. At O'Hare International Airport, we're talking about wait times up to three hours, long enough to strand more than 100 passengers overnight Sunday, forcing many to sleep on cots. What's the problem? What, why is this happening? This is absurd. This is absurd. They need to hire some more people. They need to figure out the system. American Airlines says 450 customers missed their flights at O'Hare Sunday alone because of the long lines. This headline dubbed the trip through security a slow march through hell. The TSA blames the issue at O'Hare on increased passenger volume. But it's not just Chicago. Flyers around the country are blasting the TSA on social media using the hashtag I hate the wait to post pictures of long lines. At least 6,400 American Airlines passengers missed their flights at the nation's top 20 airports, and that's in just the last week. We are trying to work with the TSA. This is an effort to help flag to the TSA where the massive wait times are. Melanie Hinton with Airlines for America, a trade association representing several major air carriers, created that hashtag. Let your fellow passengers know if you have an excessive wait time. Earlier this month, the three New York area airports joined Seattle and Atlanta in threatening to drop the TSA for private screeners. There will be wait times. Friday, Secretary of Homeland Security Jay Johnson said the TSA is looking to hire hundreds more screeners and will authorize overtime for tens of thousands of officers. But that may not be enough as the peak summer travel rush arrives. Three hours is not ideal. We want to reduce that as much as possible without compromising the safety of the American public. So how did we get here? Well, Congress capped the number of TSA screeners, thinking there would be millions more flyers enrolled in pre-check, which is expedited screening. Enrollment has lagged. You have seen the TSA experience very high turnover, and they've struggled to maintain their staffing numbers. This, as the number of flyers has steadily increased. Nora? Okay, Chris, thank you so much.